So before I dig into this too deep, I want to start with a quick backstory. So I was approached by a gentleman who wanted me to take his wife's face and put it on a, a Renaissance goddess type of person. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to find out how to do this. And so I, I started digging into all kinds of programs and I really didn't get very good results. And I actually did not make him happy. And I ended up saying, I can't do this project, but I continued to look because then I was very intrigued. I'm like, I really want to learn how to do this and to do it well. So what I want to do is generate an AI image that's absolutely stunning and beautiful, a really nice piece of art, and then put someone's face on it that is very much in their likeness. Not identical, not like a Photoshop swapping out, I don't want the face to be identical. I want it to blend and just look like the person. And so I tried many, many things. Leonardo AI is very cheap. Their monthly plan is only $12. And so I thought, you know what, if I can accomplish this with Leonardo, that will be great because I could do all kinds of things in Leonardo for $12 a month. Now, I don't want to mislead you. I was not able to accomplish this with Leonardo AI. But what I did find deserves to be told to the world because it's absolutely amazing, okay? So I'm going to take you to the process and then I'm going to tell you what I found. It's $19 a month. Yes, it's going to cost you, but it does lots of things, including image generation. I'm going to get to that in the end. I'm going to try to make this very quick. I want to just go through everything I have done because you've probably heard of some of these and I want to tell you what the downfalls were. So first I tried Webbit. Now let me show you what Webbit looks like. It looks like this. It's very clunky. And actually at this moment, I can't even get it to work and do what it was doing before. I think they're making updates, but extremely time consuming. And you, but the good thing is completely free. You can swap all the faces you want. Pretty decent quality and you only pay for the ones you want to upscale, but it's gonna take you some time. The workflow, like it didn't fit for me because I was like, this is too much time. This is one of the images I generated though. So you can see that's me um, and it definitely is in my likeness. So it, it does a good job, It just too much time. So I tried Acool. Acool was much faster. So this is what Acool looks like. And what I liked about it is you can change the art, you can change the face, and it saves both of them so you can reuse them in the future. Very nice. It processes them very quickly and at a very high quality. So I'm not gonna wait for all of these to load because my internet is bad. That, this is not on Acool there, this is on me. Uh, but let me show you one here that I generated. So that's me on a troll. Turned out very good. Now, the problem with Acool was it's $30 a month. And that was just too much for the limited amount of things I can do with Acool. It just wasn't, it just wasn't worth it. So then I decided, okay, Leonardo AI, let me try that out. Now, when you go into Leonardo, when you go down here to the help button, you can search for, oh, what do they call it? It's some kind of like common characters, consistent characters. And they're gonna tell you how to do this. And so I thought, well, creating consistent characters, that's what I need, then I can generate faces and put my face on it and all this. And I followed these instructions. Uh, one thing you can do is have a really precise prompt, use some image guidance, for example, I have one here. I took my face off of here, but let's say this was me. I could do image to image or content content to image, and it would really use me to some extent and then put like different hair on me and stuff. But that wasn't gonna work for me because I wanted my face to be in all kinds of positions and to be all kinds of things. Uh, that didn't work for me. But they said if you did, there were people, what videos I watched, they got a decent result they used the same seed and they were able to get the results they wanted, not what I wanted. It does create consistency, but I don't want consistency. I want my face or anybody's face. So then I was like, okay, 
going to train my own model. Watched a bunch of videos about that, and I was like, this is it. What you do there, let's see, where do we go to do that? Training and data sets. So you can add pictures of yourself and then train the model. And so basically I uploaded all these pictures of myself and then it actually takes the, the big giant model it's already using with all the art and all the photographs from the past and all that. And then it just specializes that model with your face. I tried to do this three different times. I still did not get very good results. In some cases, it was like terrifying. <laughs> I did not like the results at all. It like pulled out my worst features. Here are some examples. This one actually turned out good in terms of art, but I have no control over where my face goes. Like I want my face on a mermaid. I want my face on this or that. It, it wasn't enough. This doesn't even look like me. This one, unfortunately, does kind of look like me. And I do not like that at all. And this one looks absolutely nothing like me. So I tried so many different things with Leonardo. I tried all the image references. I used up a bunch of time. I learned a lot, but it did not fix my problem. So then I discovered pencil. I just paid the $19 because it is so worth it. Um, these are the images I got with my face. Uh, I love them and they make me look so much better than that. <laughs> so love that. Now let me show you pencil because this is most certainly what you need well so first of all here's the pricing and you get free you can go try this for free i think you get 20 credits for free and I, I was completely sold i was like what this is awesome i even created other videos about it a and you get all of this all of this so let me show you a the face swap we'll start with the actual simplest thing that they have so you add your art And then you're gonna add a face. And let's see, where did I put my faces? Oh, I hate it when I have to wait for people to click around on the videos. Okay, and generate. We will see what, failed to detect face. That's never happened before. Okay, let's put me on that one. Now, I did several of these. I actually liked all of them, but they didn't all look exactly like me. But this, that is definitely a likeness. That is definitely a likeness to me. Very, very nice. And then you can download them. They have the multi-base swap. I haven't seen this anywhere, okay? So I, I haven't actually even tried it. I don't have any multiple faces. I really want to try this, though. Oh, I think I have some in here. Okay. This is me and my daughter. Let's see if that's going to work. I haven't tried this like I said. I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. So I have two faces. So for myself, I guess I can decide who I want to be. I want to be this lady. And then my daughter, I'm going to have her be this lady. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's try it. See what happens. This is kind of a weird angle and I'm using art instead of actual photographs. This may not work so good. So I, like I said, haven't tried it, but I want to try it here with you. That's pretty cool. Wow. That is really cool. Okay. Now, that is not the coolest thing. You might be thinking, that's cool. Uh-uh. Let's see. Where is this that I need? I think it's AI port Portrait. Okay. Nope, this isn't it. You can make characters here. 
Um, wait, maybe this is. Oh, it is. Okay. Watch this. So you put in your photograph. It can be a man or a woman. Can't be pets. I really wish it could be pets, but it's not. You pick the type of art that you want. And then... Um, you say where you want to be. When I saw this, I was like, what? Actually, I saw this before I tried out Leonardo, and so I thought, hey, I bet Leonardo has some kind of capabilities that I could combine this, because I think they're using the same technology, but it I could not get this to work. But look at that. I mean, that that is amazing. Okay, let's try another one, just because neon punk. Let's just see what we get there. I mean, it really merges your face with the photograph. And I, I think that, I mean, you can even see the lighting. They applied lighting to my face. It's, it's unbelievable. I can't wait to see what I get next. Yeah. So my picture was a forward facing. They even have detected my profile from that. And I'm sorry, I've got to try another one. Um, I'll be a princess. So for the $19 too, you get a thousand credits, which is a thousand images, but there is a lot more you can do here in pencil. And if I have time here, okay, mm, no, that doesn't look like me. So the Disney characters, not so much. Probably it's going to just take the hair, you know, and maybe the eye color and maybe the skin color and apply it. So I, I'm, I'm not fond of that, but I mean, the other stuff it can do like the face swapping with the AI image generation, those two combined together, uh, wow. So they have an editor, a replicator. I'm not sure what this is. Get the perfect photo. Mimic styles. Okay, so you can change. This is pose. This is image to pose. It's gonna duplicate a pose that you have. This is also a tech that Leonardo AI has. So a lot of these are technology that do exist in other image generators, but the face swap, haven't seen that anywhere else. Uh, here you can change clothes. So this would be a good way for you to try on different clothes that you see in a store. Get the picture of the clothes, get a picture of you, put the clothes on. Or if you're doing mock-ups, there you go. Mock-ups, it, it, it couldn't be easier. Um, QR code artwork, architecture, this is really neat. You can design a room so you can upload a picture of a room and redesign it. I mean, th there's just so much here that you could play all day long, which I'm going to be playing after we get off of here because it's so much fun. That's pencil. Check it out. And if anyone figures out how to use Leonardo AI to do this kind of quality face swap, please leave a comment. Let us know what it is. It's link to tutorials, whatever you've got to do. If you can do it in Leonardo, I want to know how. Have a good day.